Hello everyone, I'm Maya Senthil and I'm Anura Rathi. We are from 10 IGCSE and are delighted to be hosting this episode of Smart360, more than just news. This bulletin series promises to update you on the happenings in the world and all the campuses of GIS. The idea is to share information, generate curiosity and spread knowledge and also have fun while learning new things. So, let's begin. We have some exciting news coming in from our GIIS Singapore campuses. The students of GIS have truly outdone themselves in the recently announced CBSE Class 12 and 10 results. From the Smart Campus, we have Arushi Gupta, who has emerged as a topper in CBSE Class 12 Commerce Stream. Arushi achieved an incredible score of 97.4% and has also secured a perfect score of 100 on 100 in economics, making her the subject topper. In the science stream, we have Shlok Nagori, who proved his academic excellence with an impressive score of 96.6%. Now, let's talk about the CBSE Grade 10 board exam results. And for that, we have some outstanding achievements from both the GIS Smart Campus and the GIS East Coast Campus. At the GIS Smart Campus, we have two students who have showcased their academic prowess. Kanyam Parambal Bimal Nitya and Ananya Sudarshan emerged as the cohort toppers, scoring an amazing 98%, closely followed by Neeti Rahul Upadhyay, who achieved an overall score of 97%. Anushka Tripathi and Siddharth Agrawal have secured a commendable overall score of 96.8%. Now let's shift our focus to the GIS East Coast campus, where we have more shining stars. Shriyan Smarikunta secured the top position with an impressive score of 95.4%, closely followed by Ria Mehta with a fantastic score of 94.8%. Not only that, eight students achieved an overall score of 90% and above, with one student even surpassing the remarkable 95% mark. These outstanding results are a true testament to the incredible efforts and dedication of the students and the invaluable guidance provided by the experienced teachers at the school. Kudos to all the students for their remarkable achievements. Talking about academic excellence, our Smart Campus also hosted the IVDP graduation ceremony on May 20th, bidding farewell to the cohort. Absolutely, Anura. This ceremony was all about appreciating the hard work and dedication these students put in to their learning journey. It was a day filled with celebration and nostalgia. The atmosphere in the auditorium was electric with thunderous applause as the graduating cohort, all dressed in their graduation robes, made their way onto the stage to receive mementos. It was such a proud moment for everyone. The graduates took an oath symbolizing their transition into the next phase of their lives. And when they were officially declared graduates, they couldn't contain their excitement. They threw their caps up in the air, spreading their infectious elation throughout the room. I can imagine the joy and relief they must have felt. It's like the perfect way to say, we did it! Absolutely! And as the ceremony came to close, there were hugs, tears and farewells shared amongst the graduates and their friends. It was an emotional but beautiful ending to their time at the Smart Campus. These graduates will carry those happy memories in their hearts as they embark on their careers. Speaking of achievements and endeavours, recently three teams from GIS Smart Campus showcased their prowess and knowledge in the field of economics, participating in the World Economics Cup 2023. One of the teams got the gold while the other two won silvers. All three teams have qualified for the next round, which is Continental Cup, to be held in the month of July. We wish them all the best. Maya, what would your reaction be if I tell you that there's a way to upcycle carbon dioxide, which is the biggest contributor of greenhouse emissions? Are you serious? Tell me more. Yes, I'm completely serious. There's this company called Twelve and they're on a mission to fight climate change. They're a self-proclaimed carbon transformation company that takes captured carbon dioxide and converts it into products that we usually get from fossil fuels. Wow, that's impressive. So they're basically creating building blocks for materials, chemicals, and fuels without relying on fossil fuels, right? 
Exactly. They've developed this amazing device, an electrochemical reactor. It can be customized and added to existing production systems. And get this, they can transform CO2 from the air into hydrocarbon ingredients that can be used to make fuels, plastics, and other materials. That's mind-blowing. Their current offerings include CO2-derived sunglasses and carbon-neutral fuels. However, their larger goal is to integrate their technology into other companies that seek to reduce emissions throughout their operations. By providing alternative solution to fossil fuel-based products, 12 aims to contribute to the global efforts in addressing climate change. At a time when climate change is such an alarming issue, it's amazing to see such companies like 12 come up with these innovative solutions. Definitely. It's inspiring to see companies stepping up and taking action. With their innovative approach, 12 is contributing to the larger efforts to address climate change. It's a small but significant step towards a more sustainable future. Anura, did you know that in the next 10 years, flying from Sydney to London may take just two hours? This means that traveling from Sydney to London will take the same amount of time to travel from Singapore to Bangkok at present. Just two hours from Sydney to London? How is that possible? This would slash an existing 22-hour flight to just around two hours. But there's a catch. To accomplish this, one would have to travel through space before reaching their destination. At the moment, new research funded by Britain's Civil Aviation Authority is looking in to the effects of such suborbital space flights. Interestingly, I came across this study too, which recently concluded preliminary tests on a group of passengers. Researchers are studying the effects of the varying gravitational forces on normal untrained space travelers. However, the requirements that individuals need to meet to travel in space are still in question. As space tourism continues progressing, the Civil Aviation Authority is working towards making space travel a feasible option to cut down on travel time in the future. Wow! I can't wait to see what the future holds for the travel industry. What a marvel it would be to see space travel become commonplace, right? I absolutely agree. The first book we have for you today is The Sky Phantom, written by the world-famous author Nancy Drew. The Sky Phantom is a thrilling mystery novel. When Nancy and her friends witness a series of strange occurrences at the local airfield, they embark on an investigation to uncover the truth behind the mysterious Sky Phantom. As they dig deeper, they uncover a web of secrets, suspicious characters, and hidden motives. With their wit and determination, Nancy and her friends strive to solve the perplexing puzzle before it's too late, leading to a heart-pounding climax in the skies above. The Sky Phantom combines suspense, adventure, and Nancy's trademark soothing skills to keep readers engaged from beginning to end. The second book that we recommend is Fear No Evil, written by award-winning author James Patterson. In this novel, detective Alex Cross is thrust into a nightmarish game of cat and mouse with a serial killer. As the number of casualties rise in Washington, D.C., Cross must navigate a twisted web of clues and confront his own inner demons. Racing against time, he must unravel the killer's motives before more innocent lives are lost. With suspense and psychological depth, this gripping thriller will keep readers engaged. This book, which falls under the series of books revolving around the protagonist, Alex Cross, is sure to keep you all turning the pages for more. Well, with this episode, we have come to the end of this season. Auditions are now open. Submit your application to be a part of the Smart360 team. We would love to hear from you. So do share your feedback, ideas, or any interesting topic that you would like us to cover by writing to us at smart360 at globalindianschool.org. Until next time, this is Maya. And this is Anura. Signing, Signing off. off.